Thanks for joining me guys for another video beer review. Taking a look at a beer on the channel for the first time from Fallen Acorn. And this is a can of the over engineered and an 11% oat cream triple IPA. 440ml can. And I see the postcode is a PO postcode. So a big shout out to my good friends Scott and Wonders World. Uh, a relative lo local brewery to them guys, um, they're based in Gosport these. Um, yeah, spiel on the back then, let's go for it. One of our key factors of our ethos is collaboration. We look to work with and learn from others with the same values we hold. Quality and care and supply and process. Ironheart holds their values just as high as we do. Uh, oh, it bloody fades into the. Oh, I can't read it. Uh, being proudly over engineered, so we couldn't resist the opportunity to, to throw everything we could in the biggest hoppy beer we've brewed so far. This is fully loaded, this one is. Let's reel off the, uh, the hop line up in this bad boy. Uh, we hit this with the HD. HC treatment, Simcoe Cryo and T90, Talus T90, Hydo 7, Cryo and T90, and a base of Citra and Mosaic. Incognito, Hydo 7 leaves, all in our house oak cream for an even bigger mouthfeel. Yeah, the writing's a little bit, it, it goes over onto the black and then onto the colour, and it's a bit hard to bloody read, but. I'm, I'm not none the wiser about the, these guys. Like I say, it's the first time I'm trying this beer. Um, I'm guessing their origins were traditional to begin with and they've stepped up. But fantastic looking can. Absolutely love that artwork. So let's get out into a glass. I can't even remember where I got it from now. I've been sitting on it for so long. But the time has come. Every last drop. Right, okay, beer in the glass then, that looks lovely. Nothing whatsoever getting through that. A beautiful, almost fluorescent sort of orange colour to it. That's white finger sitting on the top. General carbonation again on this one. Let's get a nose. Tropical, just everything chucked at it, tropical wise. It's hard really to pinpoint a certain fruit in there because there's so much going on. It just smells really, really good. Yeah, let's dive in. Lovely. Cheers. It's fucking delicious. That is absolutely bloody glorious. Talus. Again, it's, it's, it's that coconutty sort of hop. I mean, I, I do pick that little, a little trace of that up in there. A wash with loads of tropical fruits. Lovely body, really, really creamy. Well over medium. <clears throat> I was beginning to think, I mean, I basically did a triple IPA about two or three days ago from Left Handed Giant. The review will come up and I was sort of like what's the point in these triple IPAs that was boozy this no way 
nah, maybe dip her top line, 8%. I won't go anything over than that. I'm getting no alcohol warmth, no burn, nothing. Just a beautiful, creamy body, shit loads of tropical fruits, a little bit of mango, a little bit of coconut poking through. Silk going down the hatch. Smooth as you like. Wow. Quite envious actually that you've got that on your doorstep. You know what I mean. You've got quality like that on your doorstep. Wow. That little coconut just gives it a little jazz to it. Amongst that tropical fruit sort of mouthfeel, mango, pineapple, passion fruit. It really is, there's, there's loads going on fruit wise in that. Um, but that is really good. Yeah, that's, that, that, that sets the, um, the standard for a triple IPA. I haven't done that many. I need to do some more just to get my head around it a little bit more. But this definitely takes the beating now. 11% never. Never in a month of Sundays. Lovely stuff. Seriously, that is banging. Fallen acorn. Over engineered. That is, well, is cracking triple IPA at 11%. Cracking stuff. See you on my next one. Cheers.